I yield the final two minutes to Mr. Raskin of Maryland. Mr. Chairman, thank you. With your leadership, with a robust new majority in the House of Representatives, it's a new day in Washington. Uh, a great Republican president, Abraham Lincoln, spoke of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And that's always been the tantalizing dream of America. It's our role as Congress to guarantee that we are a government of the people. But today, the executive branch is drowning in big money corruption, self-dealing, and lawlessness. They said they were going to drain the swamp, Mr. Chairman. They moved into the swamp, they built a hotel on it, and they started renting out rooms to foreign princes and kings and governments. It is our job to restore government by the people in America. I am thrilled to introduce the Executive Branch Comprehensive Ethics Enforcement Act with Senator Blumenthal on the Senate side. It will give subpoena power to the Office of Government Ethics. It will allow formal proceedings to take place there. Um, it makes clear that it extends to all White House personnel as well as the executive branch agencies. It authorizes the Office of Government Ethics to order corrective actions like divestiture, blind trusts, and recusal, and impose appropriate administrative pe penalties where members of the executive branch are trampling our laws. It protects the independence of the Office of Government Ethics by uh, providing that the director can be removed only for cause. So it strengthens the independence of the Office of Government Ethics to make sure that we can ferret out the corruption which is now pervasive throughout the executive branch of government in the Trump administration. I yield back to you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. I now